was popping. Happy Friday. I updated my phone this time, so hopefully the internet stays connected because the last couple times it kept glitching out. Um, but if you're hopping on, say hello. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. Starting out with my glow complexion. We're going to use powder foundation again today. Kind of been on a powder kick lately. But if you're hopping on, say hello. Excited to do some blue today. I think that I'm going to do blue and yellow. Um, I was going to use that burgundy, burgundy color again, but I think today we'll switch it up and use some blue. Hi, Beth, what's poppin'? Hi, Leslie. Hello. I'm going to take my eyelashes off. I'm wearing the sassy lashes. The sassy lashes. Sassy. There we go. One at a time. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Lashes are off. And then I'm putting on the um, illuminating primer. This is before the primer. And then after you put it on, it gives just like a really pretty glow to your face. Hi, Kim. Your bronzer came today. Are you going to try it out today or are you going to wait? Yeah, bronzer. Hi, Terry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your hummingbirds are back. I haven't seen any hummingbirds yet at my house, so I'm still waiting patiently. So fingers crossed I get some hummingbirds really soon. Um, I mean, we don't really have any flowers. I mean, I'm gonna start buying some flowers for my deck area, but we don't really have any flowers by my house besides my lilac tree. So I feel like flowers, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like flowers would help attract hummingbirds, right? I would think so. Um, but okay, I'm gonna go in with taffeta setting powder. Um, it's too late today, so I'll try tomorrow. Yay, you'll have to let me know how you like it. But I think you'll notice a big difference adding in the bronzer, to be honest, because it'll just add some contrast and color to your skin. Want to let you know my Louis Vuitton bracelet will be delivered tomorrow. <gasps> Yay! Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. I can't wait to see what yours looks like because I might have to get the same one. Might might have to, as in I'll probably get the same one because it'll match the car. <laughs> if they still have it, I'll have to look to see if they even have it, but. You'll send me a picture? Okay, good, yeah, send me a picture so I can see. I'm excited. Um, okay. I don't remember if I said what color I'm using. I'm using taffeta because eyelids like a tad too light and taffeta. I'm like in between shades right now. Taffeta is a little dark, but it's not bad. So that's what I've been rolling with. Today I went to Costco and there was so many people there. I should have known. I should have known. It's a Friday. I should have known it was going to be packed, but it was like so packed today. I was like, oh my God. Oh my gosh. My goodness, I was not like ready for that. <laughs> my husband picked that one out for our anniversary and our anniversary is tomorrow. Oh my gosh, how ironic. It literally is showing up on your anniversary. How perfect is that? So you like get to open your anniversary gift on your anniversary. Finally got my beauty box. Ordered it on April 22nd. I didn't get the bag or the shots it said it comes with. You can message them and just tell them that it was missing stuff. Watch out for praying mantises, they kill humming, they, do they really? Praying mantises kill hummingbirds. Aren't they so little? Like, I mean, praying mantises are kind of big, but they're so light, like they're not like a heavy bug, you know what I mean? They seem so fragile. They can kill hummingbirds, that's crazy. Hi Tammy, what's poppin'? Hmm, aren't, um, aren't hummingbirds attracted to certain colors? Isn't that why they make the hummingbird feeders like bright colors? Or am I wrong? Maybe I should get some bright colored flowers for my deck to, to attract the hummingbirds. We're like fishing for hummingbirds. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take a smaller compact brush like this to use for areas I need a little more coverage. I'm gonna do a little bit right here that in there and then um, probably 
probably a little bit around here, but I'm going to use a lighter color anyway, so not too much. All right, then I'm going to swap this out with velour, and I'm using this for brightening. Oh, yep, that's why a lot of hummingbirds' feeders are red. Okay, that's what I thought. So you're saying I need, like, red flowers. I'm not a real huge red flower person, though. Lately, my thing's been purple. I like purple. Purple flowers. Do you have the color rambunctious? Rambunctious, I do. What color is that? The color sounds familiar, so I'm sure I have it. Isn't that blue? Isn't rambunctious blue? Because I just used that, like, a couple days ago. The shepherd hook in your yard next to your deck with the feeder will draw them in and flowers help. I have one on the window though. Like I bought a sticky one for the window because I want to see them. So that's where I have my hummingbird feeder. And I have it away from like my regular bird feeder. Bright colored flowers work for hummingbirds. Okay. Gives me It gives me an excuse to buy flowers. I'm not like a huge, I mean, I wasn't a huge flower person, but like every year I want more flowers or more plants. I don't know. It just must happen when you get older. You just like plants. Um, today I came home with a lavender tree, like a little lavender tree. I'm going to do uh, this pink color from the Berry Bouquet palette. A little lavender tree. It's so cute. That's what I got in Ornette. Ooh, yeah, those colors are really pretty. I just used that color the other day. Any color flowers, especially purple, is fine. Okay, good. I like I like purple flowers. That's kind of been my thing lately is the purple. I need, like, low-maintenance flowers, though. Thank you. I'm, I'm debating if I want, like, flowers on my... Because I have a planter that I have. And I said that twice. And I'm debating if I want to put flowers in it or if I want to, like, plant some vegetables in it. Like a little mini garden. It's pretty big. I mean, it's big. It's it's a big planter. So, do I put vegetables in it or do I put flowers in it? That's the real question because it's going to go on my deck. So, okay, Luminizer in Golden. Um, The flower thing increases increases with age okay that's so funny how our our likes and wants change as we get older we have the feeder hanging from a hook by our window they were skittish at first oh i'm so excited i can't wait to see my first hummingbird at our house i mean i've seen hummingbirds but not at our house love the smell of lavender me too that's why i had to get it they had a fresh shipment of lavender plants, lavender trees, little lavender trees. So I've got some. For my, I got one for my deck. Go for a nursery and ask them for flowers to attract hummingbirds. Oh, that's a good, that's a good um, idea. I should totally do that. I should do that. Lavenders help, lavenders help you fall asleep. It does. And it's like really relaxing and calming too. Um, okay, brows. We need to do the brows. Gosh, we just put rocks. Uh, we replaced our mulch uh, with rocks around our house yesterday. It took us six hours. It was a lot of work. Um, but we didn't want to have to deal with the maintenance of having to get new mulch every like other year. So we just did rocks instead and it looks really nice. Do you guys have rocks or do you have mulch around your like landscaping? I think the flower thing comes out when you own a house. Yeah, I could see that too. Um, okay, let me block this Nate person. Nate, this is a makeup lie. This is not Tinder. Like, go find somebody else to Tinder talk to. And I'm married, so... I just... I don't understand why people are so weird. It's like the weirdest thing ever. I would never think to go on somebody's makeup tutorial and start hitting on them. It's so bizarre. <laughs> um, sometimes I feel like men just don't 
use the smart part of their brain. Time for all your uni you goodies and my unique collagen. Yum, yay! Yes, freaking collagen is a must. A lot of people have been asking me about my hair lately. My hair must just look extra long lately. I'm telling you that collagen is really where it's at. Um, first we had mulch and then we put rocks. Yep, same. Six shadow is gleaming, ornate is lux. How do I put those four anyways together? I have to see the colors. But a lot of those colors just go together, so you'd probably be fine. You have rocks, mulch with rock, border. Landscape rocks are maintenance free and so nice looking. Yeah, I don't really know if I even like rocks or mulch better. I think I like them both, but I like low maintenance. I'm not like a huge like gardener person. I like plants, I like flowers, but I don't like to have to do a lot of work to maintain them, I guess you could say. I'm gonna do this uh, gel. We're gonna try it out. Again. I'm just doing a little bit though. Little bit of brow gel just to hold it down. Same? Yeah. I bought a new um, orchid. It's so pretty. But I bought a new one because my other ones, the other ones died. Like I did exactly what they told me to do and they just never stay alive. How do you guys keep your orchids alive? Do you have orchids? And if you do, how do you keep them alive? Some lady I saw, she actually like takes her orchid out and she puts it in water and just leaves it in water and it seems to stay alive. So maybe I'll try that, but I'm just like so annoyed that my orchids won't stay alive. Do you still use the hydrating mask, hydrating, overnight hydrating mask? I haven't used it lately. I don't use it overnight though. I usually just put it on before I do makeup, but I haven't had to do it because it's like summer now, so my skin's not like super dry. But usually that's something I use in winter time when my face is extremely dry. Should probably fix that a little bit. Three ice cubes, see I did that, the ice cube thing, and it still died, so I don't get it. I do not understand. And then everybody says different, like some people online say not to use ice cubes. Some people online say to just water it a little bit. Some people say to put it in direct water, like it doesn't make any sense. The flowers always die on you? Yeah, me too. I can't seem to keep flowers alive. Orchids are so difficult to take care of. I was told to give three ice cubes once a week, but see, like, and I gave my mom an orchid and hers she's had for three years and it's completely fine, but my orchids just like die. It's rude. You want to see my orchids? They're dead. They're right there. See them? There's two pots right there and they they're dead. I don't even know if they're sal salvageable. I was going to look later and take them apart and see if I could maybe try to save them. But one of them was really cool, like a blue color that my husband got for Valentine's Day. And it died. So I bought another one. <laughs> Hello. I'm lucky my husband loves gardening. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Me and Tyler don't like to do gardening or anything like that. So, and we're, we don't like to fix up things. Like, we're not like hot, uh, what's the word? Like we'll fix things, but we're not like hobbyists. Like we don't like to do projects, I guess you could say. We're not like the project type where we're like, oh, let's redo this room. We don't like to do that stuff. <laughs> We'd rather just like pay somebody else to do it. Although we did do the rocks with the landscaping, but that's pretty straightforward. So, but other than that, we don't really like to get into that stuff. There is a plant app you can download and you can scan plant and tells you what's wrong with it. Oh, really? What app is that? Actually, well, I kind of already know what's wrong with my plant. It's like dead. <laughs> Definitely not an orchid grower. Me either. Yeah. What the heck? 
There's an app for that skin. Uh, try letting your orchid drink as much water as it can for one minute, then pour the rest out and bottom the container. See, uh, like the video I saw online is they take all the soil out of the plant, they wash it really good, they cut off the dead roots, and then you only let like the hanging roots that are left touch the water, but like the, I think they call it the heart, where all the roots come out of, you don't let that touch water. And a girl said like, that's how she takes care of her orchid and it lasts forever. So I might try that with these. Cause I guess you're not supposed to do that when they're blooming. Cause I have one right now that I just bought and I don't want to put it in water cause I'm scared I'll traumatize it. So I want to wait till it's done blooming and then I might try the water thing with that one too. But that way it can just get water when it needs water, I guess. I think that's like the whole idea behind that. It's called Plantin. You can still use app and not pay for subscription. Oh, sweet, Plantin. I'll have to look it up. Blue, we need blue today. We're feeling blue. I'm thinking um, that really cool metallic -y blue. Metallic. Gosh, yeah, I don't know. Something around being plants and flowers just is so nice just relaxing all right we're using this color this is the color called cautious it's like a seafoam blue that is a pretty shirt thank you that's why I bought the shirt because of the color this color looks good with my skin tone so I was like oh I need that any day now We'll start with this brush. This is just the regular blending brush. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Right. We are going to pop this in the inner corner and I am gonna use a little bit of setting spray. Usually when I do powder foundation, I'll use a little bit of setting spray just to grab the powder better since I don't have primer or anything on my eyes. Um, following. Funny thing is I was getting my lashes done. Lash extensions finally found a good price. Now I have no lashes. They all fell out, so I got to show before and after pictures of the new Quattro Mascara. Yay, yeah, make sure you take a before and after. No, hi Josie. Love that color eyeshadow. Yeah, man, lash extensions, I don't care what they say because they say, oh, lash, good lash extensions won't ruin your lashes, but they will over time. Because they're literally gluing they're gluing lashes onto your natural lashes and that can create wear and tear, especially if you're not careful. Go get my nephew, he's crying. That's actually Little Bird, he's crying. But this is what they do all day. They wanna be like on top of you all day long, like on your head. Two and a half months? Worst decision ever? Oh no. Yeah, see, it's always, <laughs> you know, lash extensions are nice because nice they're easy. Somebody literally puts lashes on you and you, you don't have to do anything, but there's always a reper repercussion with that. That's why, in my opinion, it's just better to learn how to put lashes on. And then it's way cheaper, and then you just have nice looking lashes all the time and they won't damage your natural ones. All right, there's that color. I'm gonna put a little bit underneath the lower lash line. There we go. Uh, right. Go get him. No. He'll be okay. If I get one of them, then I have to get both of them. And they can't sit on my shoulder because they'll rip my shirt up. No rippy shirt. I have a couple pairs of the lashes you use. I can't master them like you can. Don't say you can't. Remember that language. You gotta say I can. I can. It just takes practice. You're not gonna get it on the first try. Just like riding a bike or learning how to shoot a gun or whatever. Like if you've never done it before, it takes practice till you get good at it, right? So just give it some time to learn. I think I'm going to do, uh, do I want to do Cobaceous? 
this curvaceous color. I might put nails on later. We'll see. It's kind of dark though. I want a little bit of a lighter color. Lighter metallic. Mmm. I love this color. I think this might be pretty. Let's try this. This is from the Rose Tone palette. So we're gonna take this shimmer out of here. Oh, that's, see, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't know why, but every time I do this blue color, I always like to do a metallic with it, like a silver. Hi, Letty, what's poppin'? These looks are so easy because it's just two eyeshadows and then I'd use a lighter color for the inner corner of the eye. Boom, boom, two and done. Or three, I guess, if you wanna use the lighter color. Oh, ticklish nose, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And then the white color is right here. So I just like to pop a little bit of that in the inner corner of the eye to brighten. And sometimes I'll go underneath the brow a little bit too. But that's like some pretty easy eyeshadow and it always looks so cool. I'm gonna blend this out just a smidgen this blue just like a little bit more it's kind of hard to see it because of the it changes like the color changes a little bit with the lighting I need more 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 so nice out today so nice it's a little cold but the sun is out and that's what I'm happy about where did I put that? I literally just got it. Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Well, I don't know where it is. So we'll just leave this because whatever. But I am, I do need to clean up the edge. This edge. I have two splurge cream brushes. I always like two of these because one I use for like around the eyes and then the other one I use for around the lips. But for some reason, I can only find one. So we're gonna have to clean this up a little bit first because it's got like shimmer on it already. We don't wanna do shimmer there. Um, when you look down, you can see it. I guess, yeah, just really bright. The shadow looks like a sage green. It does look kind of green, doesn't it? I don't know, it kind of seems like it changes colors. Sometimes it looks green, sometimes it looks teal. I don't know. What color do you guys think this looks like? Do you think it looks green, blue, turquoise? All right, let's clean up this edge. I'm just using a little bit of powder. We're gonna do a little swipe a room. Maybe I should do the lighter color so it stands out a little bit more. There we go, the lighter color looks better. Bada bing, bada boom. It's already 74 here. Oh wow, you have beautiful weather. 80s, I don't, what, what is the temperature? It's 62 here, but I don't think it's supposed to get much hotter than that. I think that's probably the high of the day. More towards our turquoise blue. Um, I thought it was blue until next to your shirt. Then it looks a little greenish blue. Yeah, it does. This is very, very blue. It looks greenish to me. It's like, yeah, it's kind of like chameleon eyeshadow. Maybe it like kind of changes colors depending what angle you're looking at it. That's why I call it seafoam blue, because seafoam blue is like a green and a blue color. Like it has a little bit of a greenish tint, but then it's also kind of blue. Man, I still want to blend this up higher. I have to find it though. I only have like a massive stack of custom eyeshadow palettes. I'll show you. Oh, here it is. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's blend this up just a little bit higher. I'm gonna to try to be careful so I don't mess up my line that I just made there. 
I just want it to fade a little bit more. I think it is faded. I think it's just because of the angle. It doesn't look as faded. One palette, blue colors. Ooh, gotta use that dark blue. Blue, we got this one with metallics. Got this one. It does match my beads. You're right. This one with grays. Giving you a quick haul of all these random palettes I made. Metallic copper colors with green. Gray and nude colors. More neutral colors. Dark. These are just random colors I threw together because they were like extras from flipping around palettes. And then pink colors. These are fun. We should use these again. Those are like coral colors. Those would be really fun for summer, especially when you're tan. Colors like that look really good. Um, I'm thinking maybe a little bit of blue, extra blue liner. Should we do some blue lot liner in the waterline? This is like the color blue of my shirt. Blue on blue on blue. Ooh, purdy. Purdy, I'm just doing it there because I don't want to like overpower the other color. All right, let's curl these lashes. I'm doing a level three. I've never wore gold eyeshadow. Oh, I love golds. Golds, coppers. I love them. I like them more than silver, but that's because I have a warm skin tone. So, did I even do bronzer? I didn't even do bronzer, I don't think. I think I did blush and I forgot to do bronzer. I just noticed that because I've been looking at my face this whole time and like, I'm like, why do I look like something doesn't look right? That's what it is. It's the bronzer. I didn't do bronzer. Embarrassing. Well, let's do some bronzer. See how my face looks kind of flat? No bronzer. No bronzer, no contour. This will bring some contrast to the skin and make me look more lively. The eyeliner is by Fendi. It's linked on my LTK, so if you do hashtag LTK, it'll pop up. It'll be under like a makeup selfie on there. Yeah, we'll get 10 times better with contour. 10 times better. No, you're good. I like to chit chat. So this is our girl chit chat. Yeah, hashtag LTK, and then just look for the makeup selfies on there. And that's where I link the lip liners and the eyeliners is on the makeup selfie pictures on there. Otherwise, that's where I post like my outfit links and stuff if, if you go to that link. I also have like an Amazon favorites list too. If you do hashtag Amazon, it sends you my Amazon storefront where I have all my Amazon favorites on there. All right, and then I'm gonna do a little bit down here. Yeah, we're doing more cool tones today because I have cool tone shirts, then I did silver earrings silver necklace we have cool toned eye colors everything's cool toned today see look at how much better that looks 10 times better now i'm going heavy with the bronzer though because i'm tan so you only want to put the amount of bronzer on you that matches your skin tone you know you don't want to make yourself you don't want to make your face look super tan if your body's not super tan because then that wouldn't match. So I always just kind of go off of how tan my arm is. I bought your blender that you have and you love it. Oh, yay! That blender is really nice and it's affordable. So it's kind of a win-win. I'm not really at the stage where, where I feel like spending $400 on a blender, which just to me seems insane right now anyways. And that blender works really well and it's like a hundred, it's like, I think it's less than a hundred bucks. Works awesome. I've been um, just sitting out in the sun because we've been getting sunshine. So that is where my tan is from. 
is natural nature sunshine. Ooh, we have the mailman here, FedEx. I'm gonna do a little more blush now too. What's he got for me? Does he got something for me or is it for my, actually it's probably for my husband. He ordered something for the lawnmower. Um, spray tan or tanning drops. Yeah, no, just sun. What blender is that? It's linked on my Amazon, the blender. So if you do hashtag Amazon, you will find it. All right. I need to curl my lashes before this thing shuts off. This shirt is also linked on my LTK, by the way. I love that t-shirt you're wearing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I always get so many compliments when I wear this blue shirt. And I was debating on wearing it today because I was like, ooh, do I want to wear it tomorrow? Because we're going to be doing things tomorrow out and about. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to wear it today or tomorrow. I was debating. I could always take it off and wear it tomorrow. Is that my package or your package? You need to live in that color for real not answering me don't you hate that you know they can hear you my husband has off today that by the way when you know they can hear you but they don't respond like I know he can hear me right now I know he could hear me selective hearing maybe yeah hashtag LTK Um, I love getting parcels. I know, me too. I order stuff and I forget what I ordered. So I'm just like, ooh. I don't even remember if, I, if I've ordered anything recently, to be honest. I don't think I have. So it's probably not my package. You never know, though, with my brain. Um, ooh, what should we do for lips? I kind of like this light pink color that I already have going on. What is this? Deep taupe nude. I don't know if this will be dark enough, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, ha hashtag LTK for outfit details. work um the pink so I want to do pink like this I really like that new mixture that we found the other day the loaded color with the other color for ombre it's like such a pretty combo loaded with minted that's what it's called minted these two are so pretty together this is like a purple color This just might be one of my new favorite lip combos. This is a little more purpley than the pink color that I was originally thinking of doing. But you do this color and then you take this minted color, which is a, it's a matte color, but this is way too light to use it on its own, but it's a perfect color for ombre like this. Then you do the middle here and it's literally perfect. It creates the prettiest ombre lip ever. If you're looking for a really good, easy ombre, ombre lip combo, this is perfect. See that? Boom, done. Look at how pretty that is. It's so pretty. And it's like so easy to do. You don't have to do like five different colors like I usually do on my lips. I'm always doing you know, like so many different things. Two colors, that's it. Loaded and minted are the two colors. And if you need a link, if you wanna check them out, just do hashtag beauty. But it's the loaded and the minted lipstick. And you get a perfect ombre lip every single time. And it looks so good. And it's a nice versatile color too. It goes with a lot of different looks. 
Like I've done this lip with, I don't know, like three or four different looks now and they were all completely different types of looks. And they all, it all looks really good with those looks. All right, now we need lashes. I think I should sw switch up my lashes because I've been wearing the same lashes for like two weeks now. So, I guess we will put the sassy lashes away. And we will put a different style on. Wow, these are dramatic. These are glam lashes. These are very dramatic. Those are too big. Those are too big for me. I used to wear these all the time. Now they're just a little too much for me. Uh, for night makeup, they would look good, but not for day makeup. I have dainty blue, which is blue lashes, but I don't think those will be dramatic enough for me. What about foxy lashes? Foxy lashes is a little thicker of an eyelash, but it's not too thick. What's in my eyebrow? Nobody can order anything on my website. It says it's not there in my account. Yeah, you have to DM customer support because I can't help you with that because that's like all technical stuff. Just like how you messaged me before and said like it was saying that you didn't get your beauty box yet. You have to message customer support because I can't help because that's all technical stuff. So if you go on the unique website, scroll to the bottom, you'll see a customer support tab. You can email them. Um, otherwise, there I think there's customer support in the app as well. But it's probably just like a weird website glitch I'm assuming that's probably all it is how would it, I would think they could probably fix it pretty quick bam but yeah that's really weird I don't get why it did that because you got your beauty box and everything so and you have signed up as an affiliate right You signed up as an affiliate. You didn't like just buy. Yeah, because you can't just buy as a customer. You have to be an affiliate to buy the beauty box. It's probably just like a weird glitch. Oh, see, I like these. These are still dramatic, like, but they're not as thick as the other ones. So that's like perfect. Yes, as affiliate. Yeah, I would just DM them. Any like technical issues like that, I can't really help you with. You have to message them. So if your website's ever glitching or there's like an issue with a customer order that somebody placed with your website, those are all things that you would need to message them about because I can't do anything. I can't even see your orders on my end. So you'd have to message somebody in technical support. Um, There might be a phone number on their website. You'd have to look. I usually just do the email option and I think they have a chat option too. I usually just pick one of those options. But that's really weird. Um, these are the style Foxy. Foxy is a dramatic eyelash. It's dramatic because, oh, I just dropped that in there. Because it's a thicker eyelash. So it's longer and it's thicker. These are thicker than the sassy lashes that I've been wearing. But they're about the same length. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. I don't think I put that one on very good. I'm going to redo that. I almost feel like I might need to move this eyelash over a little bit. I'm gonna move this whole eyelash over. So that's the cool thing about these lashes is you can just slide the little magnets off. You just grab the lash and slide your thumb forward and the little magnets just slide right off and then you can take the eyelash off. Watch, bing! And it doesn't rip out any of your natural lashes. It's awesome. And then if you need to, you can reapply it like I'm going to do because I need to move it this way, which that looks a lot better to me. And then those little magnets just click in underneath your natural lashes. And 
and I just kind of hold the top lash until I have it aligned and then I kind of push this top lash down so that that little magnet clicks in faster. And then boom, you have like really nice eyelashes. And if you feel any pinching or anything, this one, this one needs to go on closer. This one could go on a little bit closer. If you feel any pinching or anything, you just wiggle the lash around until it's comfortable. I'm gonna put this one a little bit closer. But I like how easy it is to just adjust the little magnets. Cause with glue lashes, if you mess it up, you gotta take the whole thing off and then you have to try not to rip your eyelashes off or mess up your makeup or anything. Whereas these, like, it doesn't mess up your makeup. It, there's no glue. It's just mess-free, super easy to adjust. You can swab out your lashes if you don't like them. You can double stack them if they're not dramatic enough. It's just wonderful. I'm going to do more mascara on the bottom. I wash my hair so I don't have curly hair anymore. No more curls in my hair, so now it's flat. Flat, flatter. It's not parted the best though. It's kind of like all over the place. Okay. What is, what is that? There we go. My mistake, I um, let my hair air dry last night. And then uh, I woke up and my hair was in so many tangles and knots. It was crazy. I did brush it out this morning though and I did straighten it. But now it looks like it's got kinks in it again from having it up in a bun. In a bun. Let's see, it's got a little bit of kinks in it. So, I don't know. I might I might curl my hair. I'm debating. Should we curl my hair? What time is that? Well, we got time. I was going to curl my hair tomorrow maybe, but maybe we could just do it right now. I don't know if I want fresh curls though. Well, it's the nice thing about when I curl my hair is it lasts forever. So, it doesn't matter really if I do it today or tomorrow. So, what do you think? Should we do it today? Should I curl my hair really fast? I can literally curl my hair in 10 minutes. It's awesome. I'm not going to use the, I don't know. Do I want to do the beach waves though? Or do I want to do just regular curls? I think we'll just do regu regular curls today. Oh, thank you, Beth. That means so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My hair looks really cool like this, just like flipped over. Looks so bougie. Curl it and get it out of the way. Okay, I like your thinking. Because knowing me, I'm always late to everything. So if it's one, if I do one, if there's one less thing I gotta do, that would be better. Let me go grab it. these two products today um oh what the heck I thought I grabbed the longer one this is the shorter barrel let me grab the other one okay oh this is on I always forget you have to turn this off Aw, thank you. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. I, I keep forgetting what I'm doing. I'm going to wipe this off real quick. Yeah. So if you've been waiting to see how I use the Luduo, this is going to be a nice little quick tutorial on how I use it. I, there's actually so many different ways you can use this tool. I use it different ways every time. But... 
just use it kind of like normal today. One way I'll do my hair if I want to, if I need to do it super fast, is I will put my hair like in a super high ponytail and then I curl it like that. You only need to curl like six strands, like three on each side and your hair's curled. Another way I'll do it is just like with your hair down like this already. But <clears throat> if you want a link to this or the hairspray or the salve, I don't know if I'm going to use this yet. We'll see. Uh, you can do hashtag hair, but this is the Lee Duo Grand, and the Grand is the one with the longer barrel like this, and that's what I recommend if you have longer hair. Oh, I just realized that mine's like cracked, probably because I throw it around a lot. Whoops, and I always turn it to 390. 390, I'm not putting heat protection in my hair because I already put a natural oil in my, that's why my hair is like so shiny. I put a little bit of argan oil in my hair this morning um, and that's kind of like a natural heat protectant. So I'm just gonna leave that in my hair for their heat protectant. I don't really, one thing with me when I use hot tools is I just don't let hot tools sit on my hair long. Like when you see girls curl their hair, I feel like they let, the, they let it sit on their hair so long. So like my theory is, is I'd rather just like kind of run it through my hair quicker and then I have it at a hotter temperature. So I always do like 410 or 390. Love for the duo, I know this is my favorite tool. Like if you can only pick one tool on their website, this is the one I would pick. Cause it's so versatile. It's a straightener, so you can straighten your hair with it, but then you can also curl your hair with it. And it's so easy to use. Like I don't really like the curlers that have the clamps where you have to clamp it and twirl. Like this one, you literally just do -do -do -do, twirl and it just doesn't get stuck on anything. Like the clampy ones, my hair always gets stuck and I don't like that. So, and this one has built-in fans to cool your curls if you want to, which you don't really need to use that. But first we're gonna kind of part my hair. Is this where I want it? I think this is, gosh, yeah, I have such like a, I have like a little weird little indent right here. I think this is good right here. Sometimes I like flip it around, but what I do is I always start with my left left side first, because that's my easier side. And what I do is I start from downward. I like do it upside down. And then when I come to this side, I do it the opposite way because I use my right hand for everything. I can't switch hands. If you can switch hands like this and do it the opposite way, I give you like massive props because I cannot. <laughs> I have to use the same hand. So gosh, I always have like more hair on this left side. So I try to like, there we go, that's better. All right, so yeah, ponytail curls are the fastest. This is the other way I do it. This way is longer, but it'll give you more volume because we're doing more pieces of hair and we're doing uh, thinner pieces of hair. So it kind of depends what look you're going for. I'm kind of going for more volume today. So I just grab a nice little thin, thinnish strand of hair. You're gonna start upside down with the clamp upside down. And literally all you're gonna do is clamp your hair and then you're gonna twirl it like this way, frontward. So this clampy part goes forward, okay? And you're just gonna twirl it all the way around. You're gonna do 360, so you're gonna go like, boom. And I try to like spread out the hair so it's more flat, not like, like this, you know? I try to spread it out like, like that. And you'll also get more volume if you do that, so. Here we go. Twirl it all the way around so that this, this hair is sticking out in the front. And then I just bring it down. That was actually kind of a lot of hair. I probably could have did a smaller amount. But see how I'm not really letting it sit in my hair. I'm just pulling it through. I'm just leaving it on enough so it gets warm, but like not like too hot. Boom, just like that. That's all I do. Bam! And that's it. Look at that. So see how it gives you more thickness? See how the curls are thicker? That'll give you more volume. So if you want more volumized curls, you'd wanna do it like that where you spread the curl out versus like just holding it like a chunk like this. That'll give you like two different style of curls. I just like the thicker ones because it makes your hair look thicker. So I try to um, spread the hair out like this. Ooh, what's that little piece? All right, same thing. Start upside down, spread the hair out, twirl this all the way around and then you're just going to, I hold this edge here just to kind of clamp it down a little bit more. 
and then you just pull it through like so. Now, the longer you leave the heat on, the more bouncy the curls are going to be. If you want them a little less bouncy, you can like pull it even faster than this. But that's kind of, depending how much hair I grab, that's kind of how fast they go. Okay. Grab another piece. I have straightened my hair and then curled it. I have to straighten my hair then curl it oh well that's what i did today i straightened my hair this morning because it was a disaster and i was not planning on curling it today but here we are curling it anyways but even when i straighten my hair i go so fast when i straighten my hair i'm literally going like this like i go really fast and i don't let the heat sit in my hair very long at all all right let's do i kind of want to grab smaller pieces I'm going to try to do, this is going to take longer because I'm trying to do more pieces versus thicker pieces because I want my hair to be a lot more volume. I want it to look very thick. Very thick. And also this one, I, I'm i going to try to do the other curls like this one a little bit more. Is if you pull, if you do more horizontal like this. The curls will be tighter if you do vertical like this, which is how I just did this one. It'll be more elongated. So that's what I meant to do with these other ones, but I forgot. So see how these are bouncier and tighter? See how this one's longer? And it's a little more loose. So if you do the vertical, you'll get a little more of a loose wave. So I'm going to do that with this one. I'm going to go wee, wee, wee all the way around. And I'm doing it, see how I'm doing it? Vertical like that. That'll give you a little more of a wave versus a tight curl. But see how nice that is? And then like your hair doesn't get stuck in the curler, which I really like. Oh, what is this? It's like a really random piece of hair. I'm gonna twist all the way around and then we're just gonna bring it down and through. Super quick and easy. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. Perfect. That's kind of more what I want is like this. By tomorrow, hopefully it'll be a little bit looser than that and it'll look more like, kind of like beach waves, but not really. Bam. Freaking perfect. Look at that. Look at the curls. That's so pretty. All right. Some people like to mix their curls too. Like they'll do different angles. I always just do mine the same way. All of them. I don't flip the... Like some people, instead of like doing it the same way every time, they'll do it backwards. But it's too hard for me to do it backwards like that. It's just too much work. And it's hard. I'm just like, no. Just let's just keep it simple. I'm a simple, easy kind of girl, so anything that's easier is great. Bada bing. There we go. Maybe I'll do, maybe what I'll do though is I'll mix up the, I'll do some wavy and I'll do some tighter, a little bit tighter, just for the heck of it. Since I kind of mixed, messed up the back ones anyways, and I did them more horizontal, I'll mix some horizontal ones in here too. We'll do these two more horizontal-ish. What is this random piece of hair? There we go. Um, your hair is proof of how excellent launch products are. Bleached hair, long hair, normal, fragile. Thank you. Yeah. I don't use hot tools a lot in my hair though. But I am a avid user of their hair masks, so I think that really helps my hair a lot. I swear by their hair mask, which is also why my hair is probably super shiny. It's because of the hair mask. Ugh. I think I'm forgetting to blink. My eyes are like, ugh. My eyes are burning for some reason. All right. Bada bing, bada bing. 
sometimes I'll do it like sideways like this too because then you kind of get like a tight slash loose curl. Did I even do that right? I did. I think I pulled that one. I'm going to... I mean, that is pretty good though. I feel like this one should be a little tighter though. I'm going to do that one again. Yeah, sometimes I'll kind of do it sideways like this. It's crazy how like an angle, just by changing the angle though, can change the curl. All right, I think I kind of straightened it over curling it. That was just gonna have to be like that one. It's just gonna have to be how it has to be. All right. But yeah, also like holding down this end helps a lot too. The hair mask is so good, I agree. Bam! There we go. See, that one turned out better. Look at the curls, though. Very nice. We're about halfway done with our hair. Twirly twirl upside down. Hold the other end here. Bring it down. Look at the sky tonight. You may be able to see the northern lights. Ooh! Do you know what time? I always miss that or we just like we never see it where we live but like other people we know that live in the country always see them maybe it's hard to see them closer to town I gotta remember on these these thicker pieces like this I gotta go slower so if I go too fast the heat won't evenly distribute okay these we could do in two pieces won't evenly distribute through the hairs. You kind of got to go a little bit slower on some of those. But this side's pretty much done. And I'll have to show you how I do the other side because it's like the other side's a little funky. I have to do it different. You won't believe it, but I just came in my mail. Your bracelet. Oh my gosh. Send me a picture so I can see. I want to see it. This one, sometimes I'll do up in the air like this it's supposedly supposed to give you more volume i don't know if it actually does but sometimes i try to do it like this it's just my hair is so long so this is as far as my arms can go oh okay good job i don't know see that doesn't really give it much more volume though to be honest didn't really do a whole lot of anything but bam look at that side it's all done actually i think i like the tighter curls better because they're gonna get loose anyways. I'm gonna make this one tighter. I wonder if this is that piece I messed up. Yeah, like the tighter ones, a little bit better. Let me know when you send a picture so I can see. I need to blink. I need to blink. I think this is, there we that's better. I think that's a piece I messed up. Bam, look at that though. Beautiful, and then like when I'm done, I'll brush everything out and stuff too, which is crazy. This is that piece that like just does not want to curl. I'm gonna just leave it alone. I think I over like stimulated it. All right, this is the side that's a little trickier to do, but I'll show you how I do it. Now in the process, even states that don't normally have them may have them. <gasps> Ooh, well, thanks for letting me know, or us know, because that's exciting. My light just turned off. Okay, so how I do this side is instead of like going upside down like this, you have to go like this, which you have to be careful with because then it can get down in this clamp part and you don't want it to get stuck. But that's the only way I can do it this way without having to try to do it with my left hand. Um, if you would like to order a cross necklace, you can just comment hashtag cross. And it comes in gold or silver. You can order both if you would like. But literally, I just do it this way and then I twirl it all the way around. So I go like this and I kind of like throw my hair. And then just make sure the hair is like out forward, just like the other side. Just twirl, turn it all the way around so that the hair is like facing you out of the curling wand. That's like the easiest way to remember how much to twirl the wand is just make sure that hair is facing you. So I'll show you again. 
So you're gonna start with the clamp and then I kind of just throw it and then you twirl it all the way around until, and you can even hold it like this so that it doesn't get stuck in the clamp down there, but sometimes you can just kind of turn it like this, kind of horizontal so that it doesn't fall down into that crack. Then, bam, just like that. This side took me forever to get good at, but now that I kind of know what to do, it's a little bit easier. So again, you can kind of start upside down like the other side. Flip it all the way around and then just make sure that hair comes out the front like this. Pretty much the exact same thing except we're not like going downward. We're kind of just starting in normal. Bam. Bada bing bada boom. But I love too like how quickly it curls your hair. I don't know, I feel like those wands with the clamps, they just let the heat sit in your hair for so long and I feel like that's so damaging. Do you know what I mean? Because they like clamp it and then they loosen it up and then they twist it around again and then they clamp it and then they loosen it up and they twist it around. Like that's a lot of heat going on in your hair. And only like one part of your hair, it's going on the part that's touching the barrel. Whereas like this way, you're bringing down the hair through the heat. It's not actually like sitting on the heat for a long time versus like a clampy curler. So I just feel like these are a lot better for your hair in general too because of that. Because see how we're just like gradually bringing the hair through and it's only going through the heat one time because it's only going through right here and then it's just wrapping around the wand. So it's a lot less heat that's actually sitting on your hair. Um, I do use the fan, yes. I don't really notice a big dramatic difference though, to tell you, to tell you the truth, to be honest. My hair seems to last the exact same if I use the, the fan or if I don't use the fan. Like I don't really notice a difference if I use it or not. So you don't really need to use it, but it is nice to have that option help cool your curls down a little bit. Look at that, we're almost done. We're almost done. I kind of just brush through my hair here and there too if it feels like it's getting a little snarly in certain spots. And th throw that piece of hair back there, whip it back there. Yeah, man, I wish I would have known I was going to curl my hair today. I would have not straightened it because it didn't even stay straight anyways. Kind of just got all messed up anyways. Throw it back. I also notice a big difference too if I hold this clamp at the end. Because sometimes if you don't, like the clamp isn't tight and you might get an uneven curl. So that just helps kind of the heat touch the curve your hair a little bit better. If you just um, hold that clamp down at the end. And it gets a little hot, but it's not very hot. So it's, um, you don't need to wear the heat protecting glove, which is nice. We are almost done. I wasn't timing this. How long have we been curling for? Uh, I think it's been like 15 minutes right now. I think we're at 15 minutes. But I mean, this is amazing for me because I used to curl my hair with one of those fancy expensive hair curlers with the clamp and it would take me an hour to curl my hair because it like wouldn't hold the curl. Like I would curl it and then by the time I got to like three other pieces, the curl would have been gone already and it was so frustrating. So you'd have to like go back over and curl your hair. And then like by the end of the night, like half your curls were gone already and it was just so annoying. Where these, in my experience, these have been the best tools for my hair because they actually work. And they actually hold your curl. 
And I think too, it's because of their titanium. Like I always use their titanium tools and that might've been the issue too with my other wand that I had a while ago is it was a ceramic tool, which is supposed to be better, but literally sucks. They don't, the ceramic ones, oh, we got this really random piece of hair right here. I'm just gonna curl that. I don't really know what to do with that piece of hair. It's supposed to be better for your hair, but it literally doesn't do anything. It sucks, it doesn't work. So if you get if you get any tools, get titanium if you have issues with your hair not staying curled. Because titanium is the only thing that works for me. It's for the zip girls. Look at that. Woo! I think I'm gonna do fix this one a little bit. Just like curl it away from my face a little bit more. All right, all right, beautiful. Um, my hair is still kind of like weird up here. I don't know what it's doing. I don't. It's like so close to my. It's cause I. It's cause I slept with wet hair, so it has like really weird kinks, like really close to my roots. So, but then what I do. So I'll just kind of check to make sure I didn't miss any pieces or I didn't like, I don't need to redo any pieces. This is that weird piece of hair that will not stay cur curled, I think. I think this is it, I don't know. But then I literally brush my hair out and then um, hairspray it. So I'm gonna turn this off, obviously, um, when you do this, let your hair kind of cool a little bit. My hair is like pretty much cooled off already, but you could like also just kind of cool it off like this. But now what I do is I brush all this out. That will give your hair like a lot of volume. What is this piece? I think these are those pieces I try to make look more wavy and they just did not do what I wanted them to do. Because I liked the tight ones better. Let's fix this one quick. Yay, okay, I'll look. Because I'll have to let this piece of hair cool down anyways. I should go really slow with this piece. This is that weird piece. Thank you. Hopefully I didn't over curl this piece. Sometimes if you over curl, they don't like to curl again. I did kind of curl, but it's probably gonna fall again. I might just have to fix that piece tomorrow. <gasps> Let's see, I'm gonna zoom out. But here's the curls. There's the pretty curls. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I think I need that one. Oh, I love it. It goes well with your blue beads too. And it'll match your Corvette. Ooh, yeah. I think we need to match. I think I need to get that one. I have the seeds to have it. Have it still. I love it. It's so pretty. It matches your Corvette. I may just curl my hair today. There we go. Okay, so now what you do is you grab a big brush like this and you brush it out. And mind you, I would never, I would never do this. Like with the old tools I would curl my hair with, because if I would do this with those other tools, it would literally brush out all of my curls. But with this wand, it does not brush my curls out. It's amazing. So you brush it out and it's just like separates the curls so they're not so tight. And then what I do is I hairspray and then you like kind of go like this, like scrunch it up. And I really like their three-way hairspray because it doesn't make your hair crunchy. Like your hair still feels like hair. So, and it actually has a little dial on it that you can adjust depending how much hold you want. It is on high hold right now. Or is, no, is that low hold? That's low hold, that's not low hold. I'm gonna switch it to medium hold. That's usually what I do. And now you just flip your hair upside down and scrunch. So we're gonna go like this. Kind of just get all the hair in the front and then I just kind of give it a couple sprays and go like this.
And to be honest, sometimes I don't even use hairspray. Like you don't even need to, but the hairspray will kind of help give a little more volume and it'll give more texture to your curls. So if you want more volume and texture, then definitely use it. But see, look at that, they come right back. It's crazy. And I'll kind of just flip it all around. And I just do like little sprays. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Here and there where I think I need some. Uh, I think I want some in the front. I'm gonna do some right, right there. There, that's probably good enough. But see all the volume that gives to your hair though, and it gives it texture. And then I just like flip my hair around because I never know where to part my hair. So I usually just wear my hair like flipped around all the time. But look at that. See how it gives your hair like a lot of volume too. Yeah, so pretty. Gorgeous! And these curls will stay in my hair until I wash my hair again. So by like tomorrow they'll be a little bit looser but they'll pretty much look the same and then by day two they'll be a little wavy by day three they're like my favorite by day three they'll be more of like a beach wavy wave like they'll be more loose that's my favorite is when they're a little loose and then like by day four and five it's still curly but it's not like tight like this and usually I wash my hair like every four to five days. So by that time I wash it anyways. But yeah, this is my must have tool. If you don't have this one, it's my fave. Um, so what I used is, if you want a link to the hair products and the tool, you can do hashtag hair. But I used the Leduo brand and the three-way hairspray. I'm not gonna use this, but I will use this sometimes if my hair is really frizzy, but my hair isn't that bad today. So this is great for frizz. It also gives your hair shine. So my hair is pretty shiny already too, so I'm not gonna use this, but this is the Shorebet uh, Botanical Smoothing Balm. You only need a little, little bit of this. Like I have so much of this left because you only need a little bit, but this is really nice um, to give your hair smoothness and it helps with frizz if you get frizz. But those are the ones I used. Yeah, hashtag hair if you want to shop. They're having a Mother's Day sale. So if you want to get stuff on sale right now, you can do that. And then the Lee Trident is like that big three barrel wand. That's the one that I use for my beach waves. Like if you saw a picture I posted yesterday of my pretty beach waves, that's the tool I use for that. It's called the Lee Trident. It's like a three barrel tool. It's really cool. But it's just like a clamp. You just like clamp it on your hair and it gives you waves super cool um but shampoo i switch up shampoos so i use the lange i use the lange um uh, hair mask like i use their hair masks but i don't use their shampoo or conditioner because i just like to switch those up all the time but for the most part i use loma shampoo so i'll use loma shampoo i don't use a conditioner i use a deep hair mask so Lange hair mask and then the Loma shampoo is usually what I use. Um, I just switched shampoos just very, very recently. I'm just testing out like this new brand. So we'll see how I like it. So I'll let you know on that. But they say it's good to like alternate your shampoos. So that's kind of what I've been doing is just alternating. So I'm not using the same thing all the time. Uh, nope, this is the Lange three-way hairspray. So if you do hashtag hair, it will send you the link. Um, but it's the Trio Chic three-way hairspray. It's awesome. It has this little dial you can adjust at the top. You just turn it. Um, but yeah, hashtag hair for that if you want to check out their Mother's Day sale. And then if you want to check out the earrings, these are from Lavish. You can do hashtag Lavish to find these. Uh, beads are from Bombshell Beads. Hashtag beads for these. I don't, I think, I don't, I don't know what these are called. I think they're called turquoise something. Uh, but hashtag beads for these. Um, I say um a lot. My little band, my le little leather band. This is the new, my new Gracie band. This is from Sparkle Bands. This is the same company I get my Apple Watch bands from. But they have these little cute leather bands if you don't have a smartwatch. 
uh, and they're called Gracie Bands. So if you go, if you do hashtag bands and then go to their website and type in Gracie, all these little uh, Gracie Bands will pop up and they're really cool because they're magnetic. So they just magnetically clamps on like that. So you don't need to try to buckle it or anything, which is so handy. It literally just attaches like that. So, and this is the Louis Vuitton monogram one, but they have a couple different ones. Your sparkle bands for you soon, yay! Yeah, hashtag bands for those. If you wanna check out my cross necklace, this is from my website. You can do hashtag cross, but this is 925 sterling silver, and then you can also get it in gold if you want. I'm wearing the silver one today, but it's just a really cute little dainty cross that you can pretty much put with anything. I love it. It's like the perfect size. Um, what else we got? Lashes. Our Style Foxy today, they are having a Mother's Day sale as well. So I think it's 30% off on their website. And then you get an additional 10% off with my discount code Hannah 10 So if you do hashtag lashes, it'll send you the link and my discount code if you want to check out the eyelashes. And then makeup hashtag beauty if you want to check out any of the beauty products that I use today. But... That's all I got for you. I will see you later. I will see you Monday unless I decide to come live this weekend, um, which I might, but it depends how much time I have. So the pink rings may be available in like a week or two. We'll see. Um, but I can definitely let you know on my live next time when they're available. So, but I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.